Okay, the last section of Unit 2, and this was shorter than Unit uh, 1, U2A4 is called distillation. Now, all you're looking at here is a technique that's used in organic chemistry. Um, so if you're looking at alcohol making, this is just one place where it's used. If you want to make beer or wine, they are fermented. So basically what you're doing is you're feeding yeast sugar and they make alcohol. So beer will get up to about 5%. Let's say wine gets up to about 12 and then the yeast dies off. If you want to make alcohol stronger, if you want to get it up to say 40%, what you have to do is you have to distill it. And distilling means we have alcohol in here with, let's say, water. And what you want to do is separate the alcohol from water to uh, concentrate the alcohol. Alcohol has a lot lower boiling point than the water does. So as you gently heat this up, the alcohol vapor comes off and goes up in the air. And then it goes through a condensing tube. So you're running cold water through this tube and it condenses all the steam into alcohol and the alcohol comes off. Now, you have to be very careful when you're making alcohol because those are drops of alcohol, by the way, because the first drops that come off could be a very harmful form of alcohol called methanol and a shot of this can kill you, definitely make you go blind. So what you want to do is you want to take off the methanol first. It boils lower than the ethanol. So if you have a thermometer in here, you can see where the methanol is boiling. Then when the temperature jumps up, you know what you're getting is your ethanol at that point. And what you want to do is you collect your ethanol. Now, if you want to know how strong your ethanol is, what they used to do is they used to burn a little bit of it. So if you pour a little bit of this out into a beaker, if it burns, that means it's 40% or greater. And this is probably why a lot of your traditional alcohols, such as vodka or whiskey, are 40%, is because that's the burn point. So you may have seen the term 80 proof on the side of the bottle before. The proof is twice your alcohol content. Now I know what you're thinking, yeah, I've seen lots of alcohols a lot stronger than that. That is true, but there's an upper limit as to how much you can get past um, that 40%. So once you get up close to 90%, you cannot get the alcohol any stronger than that without adding chemicals in to chemically pull out the rest of the water. And that's called a denatured alcohol. Guys, I want you to watch a few videos on distillation of alcohols. That's very important, methanol and ethanol. And then what you're gonna do is look at fractional distillation of um, oil. So when we take oil out of the ground, we distill it to get different fractions off that we can use, um, for example, to make plastics or to drive our cars or for paving driveways.